Right, we're here at Cross Country BMW Motorcycles and I'd like to show you the high performance features of our first M branded motorcycle, the M1000RR. Starting from front to rear, the first thing you'll naturally notice is the race inspired winglets. They create a maximum downforce of 36 pounds and will not decrease the top speed at all from its design definitely keeps the M from wanting to rotate and wheelie, so which means fast going forward, not skywards. From there, we have the M calipers. The M brakes are amazing because we have that initial progressive feel with that really strong uh, performance and, and bite as they come on. And then from there, we have what you can't see, the revised geometry in regards to our very valued trusted partner in Gillies tooling with the triple trees that have a three millimeter shorter offset. And we brought the steering head angle almost a full degree, 0.7 degrees. And the reason why we've done that is because we've lengthened the double R 15 millimeters for stability and hard drives off the corner while not sacrificing the turn in. So those work in conjunction with that revised geometry. What you also don't see is the titanium connecting rods. Really high performance, revs very fast, forged pistons, and a valve train that was um, from our World Endurance development. From there, really impressive, we have the billet package, which is the Gillies Tooling M rear sets. We have the M levers to complement the rear sets. And again, the highest quality grade in milling. <laughs> we also have the carbon package that comes on the uh, M competition package. So all the carbon, beautiful carbon that you see from Ilmberger that are also a very valued partner of BMW Motorrads with the M carbon covers, the M body panels, chain guard, rear hugger, and front fender. From there, the rear geometry is all new. We have a 220 gram lighter swing arm and this billet linkage that is a true super bike linkage that ultimately at the end of the day how the winglets work together with the billet linkage just doesn't the m doesn't want to do this or this it always wants to do this before it does either one of those so everything adds up to one performance package that truly um, dictates the letter M and it's easily uh, almost a full second faster on most of the tracks we've gone to. All right.